So if you looked up the definition of a leap year, you would have found out that this statement A is correct. If I tell you a year is a leap year, then it must be the case that that year is divisible by 4. But interestingly, the converse is not true. If I tell you that I have a year that's divisible by 4, that does not automatically mean that that year is a leap year. So in this case, both statements B and C are incorrect because the year 1900 is divisible by 4, but that is not a leap year. So the condition to check if a year is a leap year or not is something like this. Firstly, check if it is divisible by 4. If it's not divisible by 4, then definitely it is not a leap year. Because remember, we have said that if it is a leap year, it must be divisible by 4. So all years like 2025 that are not divisible by 4, those years are definitely not leap years. That leaves years that are divisible by 4. But not all of those are leap years. So when you looked up the definition, you would have found out that you need to check amongst the years that are divisible by 4, are they divisible by 100? And years like 1900 and years like 2000 are divisible by 100. But there's a difference here. We have to check that amongst years that are divisible by 100, are they also divisible by 400? Because only those years are leap years. And 2000 is a leap year, but 1900 is not a leap year. So let's take this rather complicated definition and try to code it up. Let's use Visual Studio Code. 